Governor, the ACLU has filed for the, an open records request for the incident report that will contain the name of the officer who shot Mike Brown. It seems pretty clear under state law that that is an open record. Should that be released? Well, I mean, I, first of all, I don't know the name of who the officer uh, is. I'm not conducting either of the investigations. I spent the better part of my career doing that sort of stuff, but that's not my career. But I mean, this Missouri state about, law. Yeah. What? Um, I don't want to get into a debate about what the law is or what the law is not, other than to say um, that I would hope um, that the appropriate release of, of that name with the, the security around it, if necessary, to, uh, uh, to make sure that uh, um, there's not additional acts of, of violence uh, be done as expeditiously as possible. Uh, there are certainly, uh, in, in my view, uh, methods and abilities to to do that. I'm not sure the litigation's uh, the best of them. I'll let others choose that. But uh, I think it would be a uh, um, an important milestone here uh, to uh, um, to uh, uh, to get that out as expeditiously as possible. Governor? Yes, Joe. Fair or unfair? Actually, take control. Well, I mean, we've been involved, uh, and, and Captain Johnson, the patrol, has been part of this uh, multidisciplinary team, and will continue to be in, in, in this. And we've been monitoring it very carefully. It's not my first trip to St. Louis. It's not my first time I've been on the phone with both these local officials. Uh, it's not the first time I've been to some of the churches here or had a chance to speak with uh, these elected leaders. We've been monitoring this uh, very closely. You clearly want, in these situations, solutions, if at all possible, to be done as locally as possible. I mean, you really want uh, you want folks to feel engaged, so that so that you get not merely an, a short-term operational gain, but much more importantly than that, uh, a long-term uh, you know trust build. So so so. Uh, I just felt that 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 uh, at this particular point um, that the the the. Attitudes um, uh, uh, weren't improving, um, and that the, and the, the the blocks towards expression appeared to be a, a flashpoint, um, and that if we put uh, you know uh, some of the, some 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 folks some people first, um, that that we'd be in a better situation. So I've been monitoring closely, um, and uh, um, you know felt that uh, um, this was. Uh, uh, the appropriate time to make this uh, operational shift. Governor Nixon. Yeah, David, real quick, David. No, I'll, I'll, everybody say, you, you, I'm, I'm here, don't worry, you'll get me. Yeah, David. Governor, will the Ferguson Police Department and the St. Louis County Police Department still be providing the feet on the ground as far as the police officers go, or will the Highway Patrol be stepping in with more of its own officers? Uh, uh, the Highway Patrol and Captain Johnson will, will be the lead in the in the security portion of this. We'll have, a dis we'll have significant resources and patrol, but they, they will be continue to be part of that multidisciplinary team uh, with shifts from the local region uh, to assist that. So we expect that uh, uh, we will continue to, uh, to rely on a joint force in this area to make sure that uh, with the various shifts that are involved and all that sort of stuff. But operationally, uh, the patrol will be the lead agency when it comes to security. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll get more. Um, you know, we'll we'll uh, we'll have the uh, um, we'll have whatever is out there. But I think that the uh, the challenge we face today is not whether you have enough officers or not. The challenge we face today is not whether you had enough resources or not. The challenge we face today is not whether you've you've shown enough strength. Uh, on the on the on the police side or not, uh, I think we've 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 shown that. That's why I think a little shift here uh, and a little operational shift uh, with a little more flexibility at this point could provide a, a breathing space uh, to uh, to uh, uh, for for both uh, expression. I should also warn that we're we're certainly going to protect business owners and families and others from from uh, uh, indiscriminate acts or, or illegal acts. Good. So uh, there'll be there'll be adequate force there. I, I just don't think the size of the force has been been uh, the 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 key stress. Yeah, I hit back here. I, yeah, yeah. Um, there were several people who said that they were arrested protesting peacefully yesterday, and that they spent the night in jail. Some of them 16 hours, and then just released, walked right out of jail. Um, and so my question is, your, your, your thoughts on that, will you look into that? And then secondly, as you've talked about the presence from last night, what you hear repeatedly from folks in Ferguson is that they are completely dumbfounded by the overwhelming and, and uh, over-the-top response that they thought saw last night. And what I, I think you've tried to touch on it, but I don't think you've quite answered that question. Oh, there have been danger. I mean, there's been there's been gunfire. I mean, both sides have. I mean, this is I kid ourselves, folks. This has been a, a difficult zone. I mean, there there has been uh, um, uh, 
there have been uh, uh, there, there, there's been a great deal of activity in that region. And, and uh, so I think that tonight you'll see and today you'll see without going through any of the operational stuff, which is uh, um, uh, up to the team as they, as they uh, work this morning and tonight uh, to move forward. But I think what you're going to see is an attempt um, and a successful attempt, in my view, uh, to, uh, um, uh, to move forward people and to, to, to move back a little bit of equipment. But that doesn't mean we're, we're giving up on keeping the rule of law or keeping control of, uh, of any aberrant or, uh, or criminal behavior. Governor, what do you say to the underlying concern in the community here that there has been a long habit of uh, police harassment in North St. Louis County, uh, traffic stops, multiple housing violations, particularly to gain revenue?